since I recently put up my some uh, I'm not sure what year I want to say 2015 and then my 2016 2017 sketchbook tour slash flip through I felt like talking about how I don't draw like I used to and when I was in that like time frame and I added like a lot of like little talky talk chatty typey what am I saying I added in a lot of like typed commentary because I didn't have the means to record at the time. Um, look, flipping back through there, I can see a lot of my influences at the time, I guess you could say influences. They weren't really organic things from my mind all the time. I did like a lot of back and forth drawing from references and bouncing around stylistically between like really loose, scratchy, scribbly stuff and like reference stuff. Because I think one of them, I didn't insert it in the video in like a text thing but I one of them is like lady in the water there were a couple people I think there was like a James Smith picture or like reference drawing there was Robert Sheehan I want to say there was like Neon Hitch there was maybe an Amy Winehouse there were a lot of pinups I wouldn't do like a very big pinup thing but I just don't feel like, it's really hard for me to sit down and draw like I used to. I mean, I still can't. I'm very much capable of it. And that's what's, like, really weird is I feel like through, like, through not applying myself to drawing anymore, I got better at it. Like, it's weird. Like, I feel like when I've taken breaks from art, I come back to it and been, like, a lot stronger because I'm the type of person that, like, low-key will work themselves to, like, death. And I really have tried to maintain a healthy men like working mentality but it's really hard for me because I just like wanna I get like I get a, fl a flush of ideas and stuff and I'm just like if I don't see these moments they're gone so in a way it's good that's something else I had to talk to my therapist about because like I told her like I feel like sometimes I do things to like an unhealthy extent and when I say sometimes I mean like almost everything like I don't consider I've never considered art to really be a hobby for me. I've never considered, like, writing to be a hobby for me. Like, I'm about it. If I choose to do something, I'm really, really serious about it. Like, I'll do it 24-7. I think I mentioned in a previous video, it's like, I used to write a song slash, like, a poem a day because I was so into writing and getting better. Which, I think, to an outsider, you're like, oh, this is great. Why is she saying that this is a bad thing? But, like, it became, like unhealthy for me like I developed like I felt bad when I didn't do it I'm like I am letting myself down I owe it to myself to better like it was it was intense but she just didn't get it I'm like I'm can trying my best to convey to you that like I like until I physically couldn't do it anymore I was going to keep going like even if I felt like I had nothing left like there is something in there like I don't know like I've heard other like artists are like creative types I hate that label but like other people kind of say it and I'm like I don't think people that aren't creative get that type of thing where it's like I get really into the groove of things where it's like I don't really think about anything else like I don't think about eating I don't think about living it's just like I am creating I am a vessel for art <laughs> in making things I went off on a tangent there and I'm back I just don't feel compelled to draw anymore. It's really hard for me. I only really draw concept sketches, which are kind of like stick figures. Sometimes I don't. Nothing is really detailed or rendered, so I don't have any sketchbook like recently that I would be proud to show you. Because honestly, like after that one of my final 2017 sketchbooks, I just like fell off and like I started doing like a lot of like random note taking. I mean, within some of them, you can see that I wrote in them quite a bit, like random lyrical poem things and like notes to myself and baby names because that makes me feel good writing down like future children names though I've been single all of my life I'm very far ahead of myself I know um but I just feel like paint is like really my medium of choice I've never been interested in really being an illustrator and it like really I don't know it blows me away that people can make money just off of drawings, which I know, like, that's silly. Like, it's an art. I respect it. You know, like, when I watch the um the BuzzFeed, when they do the drops and stuff, like, people really make money drawing. Like, you can be an animator. You can do, like, I oh, side note, I'm an awful digital artist. I hate digital art. I have a tablet that I bought, like, 
I don't even, I don't think it's like the top kind, you know, I, I'm terrible at it. I hate it. Nothing about it is anything that I want to ever touch again. And I haven't touched it since then. I even like, I, what is it? I watched the Sarah Tapis, Tapis videos. That's her, that's her name, right? I don't know. I'm sorry, Sarah, if that's not how you say her name. Um, but I just can't do digital art. I've watched Audrey Claire. Like, I've seen so many people that can like go from like drawing and like upload their sketches and do all their stuff on iPad. I've tried doing stuff on my iPad. I can't do it. I hate it. I prefer painting. Like, I can draw. Like, I just prefer stuff I can touch and feel. I need that sensation. I need, like, I don't flow there. I don't flow when I'm not doing traditional art. And I don't flow when I'm not doing acrylic painting. I've tried doing oil painting. I hated that, too. So, yeah, there's that. Uh... When I was younger, going back, because this is all over the place, and that's how my mind is going today, um, I remember I stood out because I drew a lot, and people would ask me, like, to teach me, teach them how to draw, and I'm like, that's so uncomfortable, you know, like, it's just really uncomfortable, so I don't think I could even be one of those people that could do, like, art teaching classes, because I'm like, I don't feel comfortable doing that, you know, it's weird, like, I don't, I, I have, like, I really do think of myself as a self tire so, oh my god, as a self-taught artist, because, like, I kind of just make stuff up as I go, and I go off, like, my own, like, what, it, like, my own cues, you know, and, like, what I didn't like in another painting, I'll change in this painting, like, most recently, as I started doing, like, time-lapse painting videos, I never used to start painting the background first, and that sounds really stupid, most people are like, oh, you always start with the background, you always start color blocking first, like, I'm like, yeah, sure, that sounds, like, nonsensical, like, no bullshit, everybody knows that, everybody, not me, I just wanted to paint things, so I would go immediately into, like, rendering face details, which is why some, there's certain paintings that, if you look back to, like, 2016, I want to say it was, that are just lacking foundational structure, and I know that, but that was who I was then, and... I'm not like that now, and it's so weird, because I still kind of feel like, I just want to paint this face. I don't really give a fuck if the back of the canvas is black or not. I'm like an edge-to-edge -edge type of gal. Crafty gal. Mm. I don't know. Am I repeating myself? Have I said this already? It's like, I, I just run with, like, ideas that develop in my mind for paintings now. It's not so much like a drawing, like, I think I've said this a gazillion times, I feel like, in my head or out loud in these videos, but I just, like, midway through a painting, I'll get an idea for, like, another painting, so then it's like, I kind of don't care about what I'm doing on this one anymore, it's just, like, autopilot, and then the next one, and then the next one, and then the next one, but lately, I've actually physically been feeling like shit, and I have, like, zero energy to, like, even sit up vertically, um, chronic illness, I guess, will do that to you, but did I have a point to this? I feel like this is always how this goes. I'm sorry, my focus is just not there. If you appreciated this or found this useful somehow or whatever it is that you seek when you clicked on this video, feel free to thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you.